Hey, it's Kev from Blender Bits. In this quick video, we're going to be going over the very, very basics of sculpting in Blender. It's really, really cool. And there are definitely really strong workflows that have been established by many talented artists out there. I'm not going to be going over too many of those today, or, or really almost any of those today. I just want to show you the basics, okay, of how this works and get you guys up to speed and show you something pretty cool. All right, let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a sphere, UV sphere. I'm going to go over here to the subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to hit subdivision surface and I'm going to go to about two for now and just hit apply. Okay, that kind of locks it in. Now you have enough to work with with sculpting. So what we do is we'll go down here to where it says object mode and go to sculpt. Okay, sculpt mode. And you get this brush and you see there's a the, um, radius for your brush, there's the strength of your brush. Okay, there's uh, you want to just work on front faces, there's add, subtract, accumulate, you have a whole bunch of things. If you just for now click on your sphere that you subdivided and click and drag with your left mouse button you'll see that it starts to pull out this geometry you are sculpting digitally sculpting and you'll notice that it's working on both sides of this at the same time I'll get into that in a minute so if you click on this area right here, you get a number of different brushes that come out. So for example, um, if we want to say crease this, okay, we can go in and it'll kind of crease it out, okay, make it sharper. Okay, it folds it in on itself. If you want to flatten areas, you can go in and completely flatten. Okay, so each brush does a different a different uh, a different thing a different operation uh, nudge I don't know if we have enough geometry to really play with that here but you'll see it's you start it, it sh kind of shows you what it's gonna look like okay and then this is still on symmetry mode so it's still doing both sides at the same time okay um, there's rotate there's thumb there's uh, snake hook or you can grab and pull and I don't recommend really doing all that because you get this big mess of geometry here. But yeah, you can go ahead and play with it. Yeah, yeah, they all have their uses. I've seen amazingly talented artists do some really, really cool work with just the tools you have here. And there are other brushes you can download online for free all over the place. But these are the ones that come with it. And, and they're pretty cool. If we look at this interface here, okay, we can... We can make a huge brush where we're just smashing our whole thing. Smash. Flatten it out. I'll hit undo a few times, control Z, because that kind of sucked. Okay. Um, I can bring my brush size back down. I can do strength. So if you really want to flatten everything really quickly, or I want to blob things out, I can go in and adjust the strength here and really, really go to work on this thing. You can see it's really pulling it out. Or if I just want a little bit, I can left click in here, drag it down, and just do a tiny little bit. Right, just a little bit. Okay, I want clay. Same thing. It's like adding. Okay, adding more clay to your sculpture. All right, now, if you, I'm not going to worry about front faces right now, but if you want to go the other direction, instead of pulling it out, you can use subtract here and push it in. Okay, so here we're creating a, a cavity, okay, a couple cavities on our object. Change it to add, boom. All right, we start adding. If we scroll down a little bit more here, 
can see that we have symmetry lock. Okay, that mirrors the X, Y, and Z axis. Right now it's on the X. So you can see here it's, it's going on the X direction. So wherever I'm at, I go to the center, it works in the, in the middle on one, one solid piece. Okay, right in the middle it joins up. And the sides it pulls out. If I went to, uh, let's say, Y, and I start pulling out this nose area, you'll see that it'll start pulling out both sides. And it keeps it pretty symmetrical, so... When you play with it, you'll see exactly what it's doing to your object based on where you placed your object in the beginning of, of your lesson. All right, and you can lock it, okay? You can tile it. So if I say we're to tile on everything and, and add mirror on everything, all of a sudden I'm working on the whole thing. And it's kind of mirroring everywhere I paint, it mirrors and comes together. So you have quite a bit of Quite a bit of, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm creating here. You have quite a bit of power here in sculpting. Now this is not necessarily a dedicated sculpting application like something like ZBrush or 3D Coat, but it, it's quick and dirty and does the job pretty well. So like every other video, I recommend going in, playing with it, and seeing what you can do. Uh, apparently I can do a lot of damage here. So I don't know, probably don't do that because it looks like I, I, I don't know but make your own stuff and go in and play with it so I'll definitely be doing a lot more videos on how to use this and and best workflow to get the right shapes that you want so there, there's there are workflows for characters workflows for sculpting geometry sculpting land masses sculpting all sorts of stuff and um, it's, it's great for for video game environments and and a whole bunch of stuff so this is the basics so yeah, go play with this and uh, make something cool, like Dragon, because nobody's ever thought of doing that one. So yeah, definitely do that. And uh, if you got anything out of this video, hit like and subscribe, and uh, we'll definitely keep making more. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.